So now what we're going to do is we're going to write to SharePoint. So I'm going to click this button and it's going to loop through each one of these and write each one to SharePoint. Now it may take a little bit longer, but for me that was really quick. We're going to go back to SharePoint. We're going to refresh and look at that. Boom, 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 boom. We now have four line items in SharePoint. Hey everyone, this is my SharePoint questions. Uh, welcome back from the holiday. For me, I took a little vacation, now I'm back. So for this video, I wanted to go over a question from one of you. Um, they wanted to create like an order system and they wanted to bulk add and they wanted an order number and they wanted to save it to Excel or SharePoint. So I'm gonna show you both ways. I'm gonna show you how to use a SharePoint data source and use a Excel data source. So what I have here is, is a couple buttons and, and there's no code behind any of this. I have new order, um, an add button, order number. This is just a label, uh, two text inputs, and then a drop down, which I, I did fill in the drop down with a couple of item choices. So I have widget one, widget two, gear one, gear two. So I'm gonna go over this. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do that. I'm gonna show you how to create this a bulk adding like order system. All right, so if we're gonna bulk add, the first thing we wanna do is create an order number. Now the way I would do it is I would let Power Apps do the, do the thinking for me. I'm not gonna try and go one, two, three, four, because then you know I have to read into the data source and, and figure out where we are in the ID. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let Power Apps create a GUI for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do update context. So this is creating a variable. And this variable is going to be my order number. And this order number is going to be GUI ID, open and close parentheses, just like that. So we're creating a variable called variable order number and we're creating a GUI ID. So this is a randomly generated uh, ID from Power Apps. So in our order number label, what we're going to do is we're gonna set this as variable order number, right? So every time we hit new order, we're gonna get uh, automatically created GUI ID. I believe it's 16 digits long. I mean, it looks like way more than 16, but 16 would be what you want for a GUI number, but Power Apps does even more than that. So this is a randomly generated GUI ID number for every one of my orders. All right, so now that we have a new uh, an order button, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a collection. So on this add button, what we're going to do is we're going to collect, we're going to collect my order. All right, so this is my order. This is just the name of the table that I gave it. It's not anywhere in SharePoint. It's not anywhere in Excel. This is just the name of my collection. And the name of this collection is going to be my order. And then we're going to do uh, a comma and then a bracket. And the first item is going to be order number, all right? So I'm going to give it no spaces here. I'm just going to say order number. And it's going to be, I had one too many brackets in here. There, there should not be a bracket before my order. So we have collection my order bracket order number is going to be label order number dot text. Let me just close that up. So yeah, so that, that's going to work right now. We have one uh, column in our collection called order number, and it's going to be the text that's in here. So let's keep going. Comma, we're gonna do customer name, and that's going to be text, customer.text. And now product. Product is going to be drop product.selected.value. So we are now here in the product, so let's keep going. Quantity, quantity is going to be text quantity dot text. All right, so you can see these all match with label order number right here on the left side. You can see that's my label order number and I renamed these, right? Just to make it much more simple for me. And we have text customer, drop product, and then quantity, right? All right. So now with this add button, we're now gonna create a collection. So Andrew Hess, right? This is the customer name, widget, quantity will be 10. 
So I'm just going to hit add. I'm going to change to widget 2, add, and then we'll say 100 of gear 1. All right, so we've I hit the add button three times, right? So let's check out my collection. If we go into file and we check my collection, over here we can see I have I hit the button three times. So we have widget 1, quantity of 10. Widget 2, quantity of 10. Gear 1, quantity of 100. And the order number is all the same, all right? So let's go back and create a gallery. So normally for me, I, I normally choose this one right here with the pictures already in it. So I'm going to choose the gallery right here. And I'm going to connect it to my collection. So that's my order. And then I'm going to remove these pictures. So I just, I feel like this is the fastest way I can do it. So I just choose this one and then I remove the pictures. And so we have Andrew Hess with my GUI ID number, right? And then let's change this to product. And then copy this, paste, and let's make this the quantity. All right, and then we're going to make, put this up here. Make this a little smaller. Delete the arrows. So we have now what is in my collection, right? So this is my collection. And we want to write this to either SharePoint or, or Excel. And you know we can add to the order. Let's say we wanted to um, add to the order. So let's say we wanted gear two and we wanted uh, five. Five, all right. So we just added more to the collection. So we have um, four items into our collection. Now we have not written anywhere. We have not written to SharePoint. We have not written to Excel. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to have a button here. I'm just going to call it right to SharePoint. Just for simple reasons, right? <clears throat> now I do have a SharePoint list here called items sold and it has a customer name, product, quantity, and uh, an order number. So let me uh, move order number over back over. All right, so when we write to SharePoint, we want to make sure that the names are exact. You can see here, order number, I have no space. Customer name, I do have a space. Then we have quantity and product. So what we're going to do, create a patch statement, right? So for our patch statement, we're going to patch item sold. That's the name of my SharePoint list. If we go back to SharePoint, we can see the name of my SharePoint list is item sold. Now, what we're going to patch is we're going to patch customer name and so that's the name of my SharePoint column and what are we going to patch we're going to patch customer name now if you notice it's not working right so it doesn't understand where it's coming from what we're going to do have to do is do a for all statement now for all statement is going to loop through each one of the collection items so for all my order patch customer name now we've removed all of our, our red squigglies so for all we're creating a loop because our, our collection is actually four items so for all of my order we're going to patch the SharePoint list items sold the first thing we're going to patch is the column in SharePoint customer name with customer name from my order next we're going to patch order number which has no space and it is order number so that's the SharePoint list order number and then order number from our collection next product is going to be product and finally quantity is going to be quantity all right let's see what I did wrong so what I did wrong is actually a great thing. I, I want to show you guys this. Okay, so quantity. Quantity in SharePoint is actually a number column, right? It's not a text column. So in Power Apps, we have to let them know that this is actually a number. So we need to put value around quantity. So now it knows that the SharePoint column is actually going to be, so our SharePoint column 
is actually going to be converted from Power Apps as a number. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to write to SharePoint. So I'm going to click this button and it's going to loop through each one of these and write each one to SharePoint. Now it may take a little bit longer, but for me that was really quick. We're going to go back to SharePoint. We're going to refresh and look at that. Boom, 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 boom. We now have four line items in SharePoint, the order number, customer name, product and quantity. All four of those were written. So after we, we write that, maybe what we want to do is clear collect my order. Or clear, actually clear my order. So clear collect is every time you, you do it. But we're, what we're going to do is we're going to clear my order. So um, now that our collection, let me uh, create another button just real quick just to clear the collection. I want to clear it out without writing to SharePoint, so I'm just going to clear the collection. All right, we've now cleared the collection. Let's let's do another order. So let's do new order. Bart Simpson. He's going to order five gear one, widget one, and gear two. So he ordered five, five, five. So now we're going to write to SharePoint. Boom, we write to SharePoint. It's gone from our collection. We go back to SharePoint. Bart Simpson has now purchased uh, three things and it's saved into our SharePoint list. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? All right, so now that we did it for SharePoint, let's do it for Excel. All right, now we're in Excel on SharePoint Online and I created a table and I made sure that this was a table. Now if we go in here and we go to, uh, I believe it's, um, table design we go to table design uh, we can say this is items sold table so we can give our table a name right so now our table has a name it's in an Excel file in SharePoint so items sold Excel this Excel file is in SharePoint now you can put this in OneDrive if you want to put it in OneDrive but I'm gonna leave it in SharePoint for now so I'm gonna go back to Power Apps in Power Apps we are going to create a connector to Excel online business Excel online business so I'm going to sh choose the location it is located in my SharePoint site events in the document library there is an item sold Excel item sold table so we created the name for a table we created a name for our Excel we're going to connect We'll insert an auto-generated ID into Excel table. All right, we have now created our Excel connection. And if you notice that Power Apps actually gives it its own unique ID. All right, so now we're going to write to, uh, to Excel. All right, we're going to write to Excel. We're going to do the exact same thing. So for all, my order patch. For all, my order patch. Items sold table. This is in Excel. Now we're going to do order number. That is our um, order number in Excel. And this is order number from our collection. Next we're going to do customer name. This this that one is from Excel. Customer name. Well, we made this really easy for ourselves. Product product quantity quantity. I don't know how much more simple it can get. So we now have our for all statement to write to Excel. We're going to do Bart Simpson or we'll do Homer Simpson. He's going to order gear two, widget two and 5,000 of widget one. Now we're going to hit write to Excel. But first what I'm going to do is I'm going to add that clear collect. So we're going to clear the my order after we write to Excel. So we'll clear. We're going to hit right to Excel. It's clearing the data. It takes a little bit longer than SharePoint, maybe half a second, I guess. We're going to go back to Excel. 
you'll see we now have our new changes. It now has written to Excel. You can do the same thing in OneDrive. So we have order number, Homer Simpson, quantity, quantity, five, five, Power Apps ID. We have now written into bulk to SharePoint, bulk to Excel. It's very easy to do either, either one. Uh, my preference is SharePoint, but I know a lot of people, they just want to go to Excel. They want to go to Excel. So all you have to do is create your connection. However you want to connect to your Excel file, whether it's in OneDrive for Business or if it's in a SharePoint list. We have now written to SharePoint and Excel. We could actually do both. We could combine these actually into one button and write both to SharePoint and Excel in case you wanted to, you know, maybe back up the data or if one failed, maybe you wanted a backup database of uh, SharePoint to Excel. We could easily just take this line here from Excel, add it to SharePoint, and now with this statement here, we're going to write both one item sold, that's my SharePoint list. Item sold table, that's my Excel. With one click of this button, we could write to both if we wanted to. So you can do it any way you want. But that is how I would create the order number, customer name, product, and quantity. Now there's more things you could do here. So like when you do, when you put in a, a customer name, you know, uh, when it's full, you don't let people change the customer name because, you know, uh, you don't want a customer name to be different with order number. Or, or maybe you do. Maybe the order number and customer name, you know, it, it goes to a different customer name. Uh, you can completely do that. Um, so this is my SharePoint questions. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. I know a lot of people want to go to Excel. I, I guess they, they don't have that SharePoint knowledge. But um, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.